Greetings, peace be with you. In this video, you are going to discover the spiritual benefits of semen retention. Okay, because a lot of guys come into this practice. I mean, me myself, right? I came into this practice thinking that if I do this, then I will become more attractive, then I will have glowing skin, then I will get the girl, and then I will finally feel like I'm worthy of love, right? That is a large part of the programming that was dictating my decisions before I realized the true power of this practice to elevate your spiritual awareness. And by the end of this video, you're going to discover the critical difference between NoFap and semen retention and how this practice can allow us to experience that state of transcendence. Okay, so make sure to stick to the very end of this video. Now, before diving in, just a quick announcement and a favor, all right? Below this video, you'll find a link to a Google form. There's two quick questions. If you take 30 seconds to answer those, then that will sincerely help me help you in putting together what I'm putting together over the next uh, upcoming days, which is the monk mode challenge, okay? So you can click the link below this video in the description and take 30 seconds to answer those two questions because it's gonna provide me with some clarity in terms of what you need specifically in order to create true transformation in your life, okay? This is not just about more information. Of course, I'm making daily videos and it's great that you're getting value from them, but what I am committed to making happen is a transformation in your life, okay? With real tangible progress. Now, if you've already answered those two questions, Sincerely, I appreciate each and every single one of you for doing that because it's going to provide me with a bunch of insight, right? And if you have not, then please take 30 seconds right now to click the link below and go through that, okay? Now, when it comes to spirituality, it's a word, right? And the thing with words is that they only have the meaning that we give to them. And I was talking to a friend the other day and she was like, you know, I've been on the spiritual path. I've been reading a lot of texts and for me, she was saying that religion and spirituality are actually not separate. They're actually two sides of the same coin. And that was very, very interesting to me because she was someone who I, who identified as a Muslim, right? Now, again, Muslim is a label. It's a word. What does it truly mean to be a Muslim, right? Because I was born in a Muslim family as well, but I never truly understood what it meant until I actually looked up the definition. Do you know? what Muslim means, right? Because the word Muslim literally translates into submitter, right? The submitter to the will of God. And I love that definition because it's like, when can we actually let go of our agenda, the agenda of the ego and let go of that so that we can truly engage with the agenda of a higher source and a higher power, right? I love that definition. And like if someone, like a lot of people ask me like, yo, are you Muslim? Are you Muslim? I'm like, the best answer I can give is that my intention is to be the best submitter to the will of God that I can. But there's so much stuff that comes up in the way that it's very easy to lose track. And that's why it's a practice to show up every single day and stay committed to the path of leveling up our awareness and really getting in touch with that higher source so that we can continue to make decisions that are in the service of the bigger picture rather than get caught up in the ego cage of me, my and mine, right? That ego cage, which like, it's all about survival. It's all about what I can get out of this. It's all about what I can do, what's in it for me, right? And that ego cage is what keeps us trapped for a long time, right? So where does semen retention come into this? I've been on a whole different tangent. You're going to find out, okay? Because semen retention is a practice that actually allows us to experience that state of transcendence, right? That is the ultimate purpose of semen retention, not as in to increase your attraction, not as in and to give you this glowing skin. It's actually not glowing. There's like sweat, which is shining in the sun. But it is to actually engage in the practice of sexual kung fu as described in the ancient Taoist texts, as described in the ancient tantric texts. It was actually how to use sexuality as a bridge to reach higher levels of awareness and semen retention, as you will find out coming up, is a key component of that framework, right? So what it comes down to at the end of the day is the level of awareness, right? Whether you identify as someone who is a Muslim, right? Someone who submits to the will of God rather than submitting to the will of the ego, right? Whether you're someone who identifies as a Christian, right? What does Christ even mean? Jesus Christ was not his actual name, right? His name was Jesus of Nazareth and Christ was actually a title. And what it literally means, right? Christ consciousness is one who is a part of all, right? One who is 
with all, right? Christ consciousness is to be an expression of the all, right? To see the all in all, right? Krishna consciousness, what's that? To see the divine in all. That has been my major takeaway from reading the ancient Hindu text, right? Because people are like, yeah, I'm Muslim, I'm Hindu, I'm Christian, right? But again, as I have shared on this channel previously, that is an agenda of divide and rule to separate people based on religion so that they can fight against each other and then the elites at the top can just play them like puppets by playing them against each other, right? Once we realize that we are eternal spiritual beings with the same aspect of consciousness that is having these different experiences through our thoughts, through our bodies, through who we are, right? The consciousness is the same, the experience is different and once we begin to identify with that consciousness is when we begin to actually see the ultimate reality which is that of God, which is that of divinity, which is that of consciousness, which is that of the universe, right? The universe is everything and we are an aspect of the universe and as the ripple on the surface of the ocean is not separate from the ocean you are not separate from god and divinity right once we begin to truly embody this because right now i'm talking about these ideas they sound all good they sound all you know world peace bringing but where the rubber really meets the road is actually practicing it right i think about like a thought experiment i run through my own head is how would i be if I were to treat each and every single person that I come across in my path like me, right? The golden rule, treat other people how you want to be treated. And that is really what it comes down to at the end of the day. And these labels are what keep us in a box. And anytime that someone says that they are something, oh, I am a Muslim, then they're saying that I am not these other things. And then that notness, right? That notness is what leads to the division. That division is what leads to conflict. And that is what these elites actually thrive on. Right, this low vibration energy of conflict, of war, of destruction, right? And right now we are going through a new age where we're waking up to the reality of unity, right? Unity is the only ultimate reality, right? That which is real will always be real, right? Because we are living in the physical dimension where the one constant is changed. No two moments are exactly the same, right? But as we begin to transcend the illusion of Maya, of duality, we begin to realize that of unity right begin experiencing it and semen retention is a practice that can allow us to actually experience it right because right now these are words these are air these are insignias these are symbols that don't mean anything other than what you perceive them to be but once we have that experience of transcendence right whether you go through that experience through sacred medicine whether you go through that experience through deep meditation through contemplation semen retention is another tool that can really allow like i mean in my personal journey has allowed me to experience it to a level that has not been accessible through anything else right so i'm going to be sharing with you how to actually dive into it but what it really comes down to at the end of the day is that spiritual awakening right so i've shared this story on the channel before but my spiritual awakening actually took place when i used to identify as someone who was shy who was introverted who was identified as someone who was not good at meeting people i said i didn't have the social skills and i'm not good at meeting people right and then by some coincidence i took a trip alone it was a solo trip that was supposed to be taken with my cousin but he bailed on me i went down to amsterdam I identified as someone who was shy introverted not good at meeting people and by putting myself in the situation where no one knew me, I didn't know anyone, there was no preconceived notions of how I was expected to behave, I expressed a side of myself which I had never experienced before. And I became social, I became good at meeting people, I became confident, I became talkative, I became a conversationalist, right? Someone who I never identified as before. And by the end of that trip, I realized, shit, I don't even know who I am right now. Right? I thought I was my identity. I thought I was the stories that I told myself. But here I am having experienced something that is completely contradictory to who I thought I was. And that was what I describe as my spiritual awakening because I realized that I am not my identity. I am not my thoughts. I am not my body. I am the consciousness that is experiencing it. And I can go ahead and create myself anew when I put myself in new situations and experiences and environments right so that was a huge realization for me and if you're watching this video right now i'm sure you've had your moment of awakening and i'd love to hear about it let me know in the comments what was your moment of awakening when you realize you're not your thoughts when you realize you're not your body right because that realization takes place but then it is a practice and constantly reinforcing it so that we can actually live through that realization as well right now the way that semen retention comes into it as well is because 
prana graphy is such a strong stimulus that it actually engages our body it engages our senses to chase that cheap thrill and the more that we chase that cheap thrill the more we get plugged into the maya matrix the more that we think our, we are our body the more we separate ourselves from the entire universe because we think that we are this right we think we are this but really we are everything and when we become engaged with the emotions that we experience when we become engaged with what the body is craving right the pleasure moving towards pleasure Pleasure, moving away from pain that is when we get cut off from the true absolute reality and once we engage in the practice of semen retention is when we transcend the small temptations of the five senses right we transcend the emotions we transcend what the body is trying to get us to do and we tap into the level of our higher self we do the right thing regardless of how we feel even though we feel like busting a nut even though we feel like getting that dopamine fix we actually transcend it and we make the right decision that allows us to cultivate that life force energy and then direct it towards expressing ourselves creatively in all the other areas of our life as well and once we become more practiced in this all right i made another video on this on the levels of semen retention mastery okay you can definitely check it out look up semen retention mastery on this channel and ultimately it comes down to actually separating ejaculation from orgasm okay once we can learn to do that through the practices through the rituals through the routines it's not something that's easy once we can actually learn to do that and then we cultivate a deep fulfilling passionate relationship with a partner and we can learn to harmonize that masculine and feminine energies within us by transmuting it through the circuits right the energy circuits which are known as the energy meridians and Taoism. they're known as the chakras in hindu philosophy once we can learn to do that and harmonize the masculine and feminine priorities within us that is when we can begin to experience that moment of transcendence which i have described as where the division between subject and object disappears right the division between you and your partner disappears the division between you and everything else disappears and you become one with all that is you begin to experience christ consciousness you begin to see everything through the lens of krishna consciousness you begin to act in a way through buddha consciousness you become a muslim who submits to the higher force and the higher power that is really the source of everything that ever was is or can be right and that is the true power of semen retention to elevate your spiritual awareness so that you can begin realizing your true self as an aspect of the divine and how to create yourself anew right there was a quote that i read uh, from neil donald walsh and he said that the ultimate purpose of life is the ultimate experience of divinity right and once we can learn to actually you know get our birthright which is that of divinity once we realize where we really came from then we can truly begin to shift where we are headed right now right because you're watching this video you have an awareness of what's truly going on around you you have an awareness of your thoughts you have an awareness of what's going on within you creating what's going on outside of you and once you actually begin to practice semen retention once you begin to retain your life force energy and channel it throughout your body that is when you begin to tap into your true creative essence okay so that is my message for you today if you haven't already please take 30 seconds to answer the two questions linked out below this video on the google form because that is sincerely going to help me help you in creating a true lasting transformation in your life okay so take 30 seconds click the link below answer that question but with that i conclude this video i hope you got value from it this has been mo here much love to you take care and i will see you in the next video